I have to quit, keep switching hands. Uh-huh. Then I went back on the wagon. I went back on the wagon May 1st of 2022, and I was clean eating all the way up to November. And what happened is it disappeared, my hot flashes. Now I get ones that are like these little gradual type things for 15, 20 seconds and they're gone. And I've only had, I think, two night sweats in all that time. And I really didn't miss it. I mean, those night sweats once or twice a week, they were awful. So definitely the takeaway is carnivore regulates hormones in females. I can't speak for males, but I've heard anecdotal stuff from them, but I can't, I'm not gonna speak to that because I don't care, my girl. My pronoun, she and her forever, because I have a vagina. That's where I hang my hat on that. <laughs> anyway, so if you're looking to become fertile, do this diet. If you're looking um, to regulate hormones after you're in menopause and you wanna have libido and no night sweats and really innocuous uh, hot flashes, do this diet. Is this a diet to get down to a goal weight because you got a wedding to go to or a special date? No, this isn't a quick weight loss thing. This is a eating to appetite, not restricting, eating the right foods, not eating process, lifestyle forever. If you can't commit to it, don't bother with it. And I, I recommend 90 days. Everybody says, oh, try it for 30 days because they just wanna, they wanna hook people. It's not about a hook. It took me three weeks to even get used to it. I couldn't have given you a really good response if I had tried on how I was doing or any kind of any kind of anecdotal or any stats or anything because the 30 days would have just gotten me a week past feeling like punk, you know? So no, you need about 90 days and you need to commit to it. And it seems like the people that can commit for a long time are those that are motivated for something that's scary. In my case, I had Hashimoto's and I understood it was autoimmune. I understood that it ran in my family. I understood that my mom had had rheumatoid arthritis. I understood that if I didn't do something myself, nobody was gonna do it for me. There were no doctors that gave one shit about it. They just wanted to put me on thyroid because I wasn't making enough because my body was attacking its own thyroid. I wanted that to stop. So I started looking into things and then I met this gal on Facebook that said, hey, listen, I have Hashimoto. She goes, mine's in, re mine's in remission now. She said, so this is what I did. And I had had, I'd had some when I was on Atkins and just low carb and keto, I had had better numbers and I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, now I have gorgeous numbers because I'm not having any of the things that were inflaming me. I wish I had known this stuff when my mom was alive and I could have, I could have forced her. <laughs> I would have, I would have just talked her into doing it. I would have just been like, you're doing it, mom. <laughs> but I wish I had known that. That scared me. I didn't want to take Synthroid for the rest of my life. I didn't want to have, I didn't want to be where my sister's at in her seventies. You know, she doesn't feel good and, and she doesn't want to make the change. And I can't help her there because you got to want to do it. And, and I just want to insert some vanity. I don't care what they're calling it now, curvy, healthy, whatever. I want to be height, weight, proportionate or better. I want that for myself. I like to look nice in my clothes. I like clothes. I want hub to, hubs to find me attractive. I, I am not interested in being overweight. And so I knew that eventually my body would regulate itself once it got a rhythm and it's already doing it right now, which I'm super excited about. Now I'm gonna put out a, I put out a video already. You guys have probably have already seen it. And if you haven't, go there and, and check it out where I talk about my weight loss journey eating to appetite, not restricting, and just being 100% carnivore and see kind of where it, it lands me. And you know what, guys? Yesterday I had 2,100 calories. I don't count them, but it comes up in my tracker anyway. It's just part of the whole deal. And I had 2,100 calories and my grams of fat were 174 and my protein was like, I don't know, 119 or something. And I lost a half a pound. And I lost 8.8 .8 the day before, eating the same thing. So, it isn't calories in, calories out. It's what your body perceives as fuel and how much it has to take, how much fat it has to take off its own body to augment what it's getting. And the thing is, I'm having enough fat and enough calories that my body knows I'm not starving. It's like, oh, okay, well, um, that brain of hers is working overtime. 
So, because <laughs> you guys know I don't work out. This is all I do. I walk when I have time, which is, you know, four to six times a week at best. And so and the body has to augment that because the brain's a big sucker of energy. Like 75 or 80% of all your, your fuel needs to go to the brain. And some, some don't need as much. That's right. <laughs> anyway, thanks, you guys. And please subscribe and like this video. And if you want to have, I'll give you every secret I have. If I find something works for me, I'm going to tell you. It may not work for you, but what if it does? I don't want anyone to have to feel like they have to be gym rats or they have to starve. Us women, we've done enough of that. Love you.